the messy in between. A green thumb is not hereditary. Do not disregard all the sweat and tears, the byproducts of your effort. Your work may leave you beaten, dehydrated, gasping for air, but it'll make you thirst for more, to crave for better things to come. Do not disregard all the cuts and bruises, the external, unintentional, the self-inflicted, all came with trails of blood and a not-so-favorite shade of blue. Now, I am left with scar tissue and hints of discoloration to commemorate the things I had to endure. On the skin that can be easily hidden, I can trace back to where the sadness once was and where I am no longer at. Do not disregard all the parts of you that will be left behind and all of the people who didn't stay. Plants are not the only ones who need pruning. We ourselves need to cut away dead stems and overgrown branches to promote our own fruitfulness. Do not disregard all the dirt the ones I have left stains on my clothes, no matter how hard I try to rid them, to forget them. There's no need to scrub them away. Wear your smudges as well-deserved medals with pride and strength. The bad will linger, but their stay should not be feared, for they are meant to be remembered, lessons to be learned. You wilt. Embrace the fall. You'll feel less suffocated if you allow yourself to settle in as if you were visiting the home of an old friend. This cycle is never ending, so when you find yourself back at the bottom, start again. Submerge in the soil, replant your roots. Welcome the storm, take advantage of the nourishment that the rain will bring. Find comfort in the warmth of the sunlight when it greets you each day. Look, look at each fall as an opportunity, another chance to sprout once again. There will be an ache that will radiate down your back. There will be a load on your shoulders from a weight you cannot escape. If you want to see progress, just bear with it. Imagine what will come out of it. This garden will grow, and so will you.